Hello and welcome uh, to the first of four mini concerts that we are going to be streaming here from the Wallace Annenberg Centre for the Performing Arts. My name is Paul Cruz and I'm the Artistic Director here at the Wallace and I'd like to obviously introduce you to people you already know. Vijay and Rina, hi, how are you? We're on well, Paul, how are you doing? Uh, doing well, I'm in my office today which is, is nice to be in a different location for a change. Um, look, this is amazing, we've got um, uh, four concerts, obviously the first one tonight, and then we've got three more over the next three Thursdays at five o'clock, so just remember to tune in. Um, and But just tell us a little bit about, do you want to just explain a little bit about how you came about to create this piece of work? Yeah, um, so um, I'm Rena. I'm the composer, I wrote this piece, um, and I started out when I was very young, grew up in Los Angeles as a pianist, and one of my most amazing experiences ever was playing uh, chamber music with two members of the LA Phil, who are Barry Golden and Mark Baranov, and, um, and so since that time, since I was a teenager, I had always really wanted to write a piano trio, um, because I played this Mendelssohn piano trio with them, and was just so amazed uh, by what you could do as a pianist in a chamber ensemble. So, you know, 20 years later, is it 20 years? Maybe, maybe a little less sort of dating myself, but um, yeah, uh, many years later, um, uh, Vijay and I met and I was working with him through Street Symphony and actually met these musicians again as a professional musician. Things kind of came full circle, but I finally got the opportunity through Town Music Seattle to um, ma make this piano trio happen. You know, and, and so much of what's so powerful in the repertoire of the piano trio is that the great masters all wrote amazing piano trios. We have got great piano trios from Brahms, from Beethoven, from Schubert, a great one by Ravel. And in these pieces, you know, as a string player, as a violinist, I'm, you know, rooted in playing solo violin with orchestra. I'm rooted, by, rooted in playing in a quartet, but playing in a trio is very different because in a sense, it's kind of like the piano is against the cello and the violin. So you have all these different combinations. You can have each instrument shine as an individual, but then you've also got this massive behemoth instrument of the piano. And the way that Rina uses the voices of all three instruments is really something truly special. And we, are, we're, we have four movements. We're gonna show each of the movements over the next four weeks. Explain the, the nature of the difference in those four movements a little bit. Just, to, just how's, how's the journey, the arc of this, of this piece go? Yeah, um, so it starts with a movement that's kind of pensive, a little bit uh, um, kind of searching. Um, and that's the movement we'll, we'll talk about a little bit more in a minute. That's the movement we're going to hear today. And then after that, there's kind of a, a movement that's just about breath and about breathing and about just those, those moments of just uh, being able to hear your own breath. Um, so that's the second movement. The third movement is just a really fun, wild romp. <laughs> and um, it probably took me as long to write it as it took will take you to hear it being performed. It was very, wrote it very quickly. And then uh, the last movement is just a massive epic finale. Right, good. So tell us a bit about tonight. Right, so this, this first movement um, starts in a very almost atmospheric way. You know, you can imagine the playing keys on the piano, you're, you're moving back and forth between very definite pitches. But one thing that's so captivating about Rina's composing uh, is that she introduces in elements of Indian classical Hindustani music, which if you imagine Eastern vocalization or singing, there's a blurring between the notes. And so as I just mentioned that back and forth between the piano and the strings, as performers, we're moving back and forth between the idioms of Western classical music and Indian classical music. So you'll hear uh, the beginnings of very melodic sliding, gliding textures in the string instruments and then the piano establishing this kind of like waterfall, almost like rainfall pattern, which is actually linked to the, the raga that the key is written. Yeah. The key is so, I mean, I'm kind of trained in Western classical music, but I also have about 10 years of training in Indian classical music, you know, about uh, 2011, 2012, I did a Fulbright in India, and that's kind of when my training began, um, and I've kind of kept up ever since. Um, so, yeah, this rag, this Indian classical rag, is um, 
called Malhar. And it's from a family of rags that is about the, the beckoning and the bringing of rain. So it's like, you'll begin to hear just a little bit of rain from the distance, you feel it coming. And then it, this culmination is um, almost as if you're just getting, you're in a deluge of rain. You know, one of the things that I remember feeling as a player, and I felt it physically in the while I was playing, was you'll hear a climax of this movement. And the build towards the climax felt like standing out in the rain when the rain starts very, very peacefully, very softly. And then you're just soaked in the downpour. And you've embraced the rain and the rain has embraced you. And to me, that's what this movement feels like. Wow. Well, that sounds amazing. And, and um, I'm so looking forward to listening to it again tonight. Um, well, shall we just, sh is there anything else you want to say about tonight or shall we just get into the concert? I think we should Let's get into it. it. <laughs> we just want to say how excited we are to be part of your lives for the next four weeks. Yeah. Uh, we're so, uh, so excited to be partnering, to continue our partnership with the Wallace. And we really hope that you'll enjoy this amazing piece, which we loved creating. Yeah, and look, we're, we're also so pleased to be uh, hosting this with you today. I mean, continuing our partnership and we'll continue in the, into the future, I know. And I know that there's many people signed up and I think, you know, people will have questions for us. So over the coming weeks, uh, prior to every concert, we will have a conversation like this, maybe a little bit more detail, maybe answering some of the questions that you've asked. So feel free to send messages in, send questions in, and, uh, and we will certainly address those over the coming weeks. But Vijay, Rina, thank you so much. It's amazing to have you here with us today and uh, enjoy the concert that we've now got for you. Thank you very much. Thanks, everyone. Bye-bye.